Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. I'm going to do your weekend reading. So this is going to be August 16th through the 18th. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. Go ahead and click that link and you can book your reading with me. There will be a special coming up for Virgo season for all of the month of Virgo season. So keep your eye out for that on personal readings. All right. So let's get into these messages and see what's showing up for you guys. Okay, so you've got mature male, mature man, mature woman, older, mature in age, showing up, being significant. You also have brunette female, being significant, someone who has dark hair, intense, focused, could be male or female. What else? Okay. Gosh. <laughs> okay, Virgo. <laughs> you have fun times. Okay. Let's see. Let's get a couple more. Let's see. Parties, events, having fun this weekend. Right? Looks good. Is that your plan? What's your plan, Virgo? Let's see. Going to a concert this weekend? You might be invited to a concert this weekend or an event. Okay. Um, so it could be with a friend or a casual, like a casual date with someone with dark hair and someone who's older. Okay. You also have travel. Could be traveling. Going on a vacation with someone this weekend, having a good time, honeymoon vibes, <laughs> fun, fun, lots of fun for the weekend. Anything else? Okay. So it looks like a short kind of getaway over this weekend here. A quick little, quick little fling or a quick little thing, fling or a thing, whichever for the weekend. Looks like fun. You may have a decision. A choice between two people you may get asked out as far as a relationship goes or get an, invited to an event by two different people you may have a choice decision about those two different choices one of them could be someone from your past like a past lover let's see it could be reaching out and asking you out over the weekend and somebody else could be as well one of them is a soulmate one of them is going to be a soulmate, a great connection, a wonderful relationship. Let's take a look. Just one more. Somebody's getting some or has some sunburn, might be peeling. Be careful, wear your SPF 5000. Wear your sunblock, Virgo. Be careful of that sun. All right, anything else for Virgo? What else? And then we'll get more into this reading. All right. Yes, you do have dating. Dating is on the agenda for the weekend or a date. Fantastico. All right. So like I said, if you're new, smash that like button and please do subscribe. If you have not subscribed yet, if you're new, welcome to the channel. This is a channel for Virgos. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay. So yeah, it looks like you're, you have some stuff going on this weekend. Let's see what else could be showing up here. All right, so you're showing up in your reading. Okay, King of Pentacles here. You got your mind on your money and your money on your mind. Yep, definitely. <laughs> Virgo, looks like um, definitely an, an, an opportunity is coming in this weekend for you. It could be a new job, a raise, a promotion, an investment, new, oper uh, new income. You could be getting a gift receiving a gift from somebody and it could be an early birthday gift let's take a look you may or may not want to accept it i'm hearing okay could be coming from a king of swords or a king of pentacles ma masculine or feminine so it could be from an air sign or an earth sign right there might be like some kind of hmm you might not be sure virgo if you want to accept the gift you might have one person blocked or there might be like a blocking you might be like no or not really sure what you want to do here all 
Um, you might be trying to decide if you want to accept something from somebody, whether it's a job or a gift or money, something like that. Yeah, I feel like, Virgo, you're going to kind of like <laughs> take that pentacle and like bite down on it to see if it's real. <laughs> just to be sure yeah you're definitely gonna like check you're gonna study it you know how like a jeweler puts like um a gem under or, like a diamond or a ring or a piece of jewelry under the like microscope kind of thing whatever they use i don't know magnifying glass you're definitely gonna be checking to see if it's real. Like, bite on it to see if it's like if it's real if it's hard gold or soft gold you know you're definitely gonna be checking to see if that's a real thing is something that you want you're getting something. Something's coming in this weekend for sure. It feels like something of value. Like it feels mostly like a gift. And for some of you, you know, I know, listen, next week it starts Virgo season. So you could be receiving an early gift. Or someone reaches out and tells you they have a gift for you. And they're, or they're, as for your address, they're sending you some kind of present or a gift. Could be from a Libra, I'm hearing. Hmm. There's some kind of truth coming out, Virgo. What's this truth? Oh, somebody wants to connect with you. Yes, that's a soulmate right there. So there's some kind of soulmate connection. It could be somebody, who, this person who's giving you a gift. The truth is they, they want to, yeah, there's a, a romantic partnership proposal or marriage here some of you getting some kind of proposal from someone you have a choice so you do have someone from your past reaching out and you do have somebody new yeah wow virgo one of them is short term one of them might be long term but i feel like you, you've got a decision that you're going to need to make are you going to be look you're not going to need to do anything let me just take that back you do whatever the hell you want to do but you'll be presented with, with two, I feel like two different paths. Yeah. Some of you are getting a car this weekend. Maybe you're getting a rental. Doing something with a vehicle. Nope. Some of you are getting a car for your birthday. <laughs> or you're getting money for a car. Or maybe somebody's going to give you some bus fare. I don't know what's going on. But um, oh, this is my birthday card right here. Yep. I mean, for all you know, I mean, for some of you, this could just be... You get a birthday message from your insurance company. They're like, hey, happy birthday. Here's 10% discount if you upgrade your insurance. Whatever. This is definitely something coming in for you. Early. It's early. It feels like an early kind of thing. Uh, there's also somebody who's coming in to see you or inviting you on a trip like we saw. Some kind of travel thing. You might get like um, cruise tickets or uh, somebody gives you like uh, airline tickets. You receive something, you get something in connection to travel as well. Yep, there you go, travel. Or someone's coming in to see you or you're going to see them or that you and you make a decision or you go off with someone over this weekend. I know, it sounds like you're like just such a go-getter, but I know a lot of you are just sitting home watching Netflix. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> a lot of Virgos are like, nah, I'm not getting up off the couch. Nah, I'm good. Yep, go have fun. <laughs> oh my gosh. Somebody wants to commit to you. Someone that's been gone is making a return. Wants to commit to a long-term relationship with you. Could be a Taurus. Something that I feel like they've been thinking about. Yeah, they've been thinking about. This person been very avoidant. Mm, acting very indifferent to the whole idea of new love. Or a relationship or marriage or anything like that. Yeah, somebody here has been contemplating, thinking about, is this going to be a surprise? They're even going to be surprised at how they're like feeling. They may have um, pushed you away. Okay, this might be the past person. They might have um, blocked you or pushed you away or they had other options and they just couldn't, whatever. I don't know what the issue is. Very avoidant, apath apathetic, acted like indifferent in the relationship. Now they've been kind of contemplating this and you guys have been like separated. This person's coming back in um, to connect with you. They're making that return. Definitely learning from the past that they've been gone and I feel like with the eight of cups this person has been 
like the withdrawal they're going through some kind of withdrawal while they're withdrawing from you but while they're withdrawing from you they're going through withdrawal and they're thinking about taking you up on the offer yeah there's going to be communication coming in from somebody here they want to overcome these obstacles and these problems that you guys might have had and bring peace back into the situation but like kind of in moderation this person's not going to rush in they don't want to rush anything here um yeah they're at a crossroad here it looks like they're going to be coming back your way but i mean some of you like i said you you do like you're going to be presented with a decision because you do have another person here who seems to want to go do something with you or spend some time with you okay yeah you got some kind of heartbreak here there's some kind of um yeah somebody might have cut you off you might have to break somebody's heart over this weekend or just decline someone maybe decline them all hmm some of you um hmm, that's interesting no, you're 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 saying no to somebody. Who are you saying no to, Virgo? Someone that um, was like a wish come true for you. You're saying no to someone that you had set your hopes up on. This person's a fool. I'm hearing maybe they're a fool. You feel like you're you're freeing yourself. They're coming in to take a risk. I feel like this person really has a thing for you. Um. But tell me about this new person. What's going on with the new person? Okay. Um, so this new person, wow, Virgo, they're really intrigued by your evasiveness, mysteriousness. There's something about you. Um, they're really intrigued, but they're waiting for you. Um, so, wow, Virgo, I feel like you have a couple of options going on here. You have a couple of options here. To choose and it looks like it's like between a past and a, and a future type of a person let's see what else is going on here with this new person yeah yeah this new person is really um i feel like there's going to be some kind of communication like i said about like a, maybe a gift that you're going to receive or an offer you're going to receive from someone here i feel like this person is involved in some kind of um legal like they like their career they're connected to some kind of legal thing oh i just heard this new person is going to tell you that they've been waiting for someone like you for such a long time okay yes we definitely want to make a connection to, uh, with you so you have two people here that <laughs> One that's gone through withdrawal and trying to reconnect with you and a new person that's showing up here that's that's a mature you know, I'm well I say mature, maybe whatever age you are close to your age, that's very interested in you. There's a soulmate connection with somebody new that um you may get together with over this weekend. Like it's a short term kind of get together. Do you know what I mean? Like it's nothing. <laughs> it's like just dating. There's a dating thing. But you also have someone from your past who's who's been away and is coming back around. They're going to hit you up. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, the King of Swords keeps showing up here, Virgo. There's a King of Swords who's really remorseful. I feel lost without you. Yeah, they've been keeping that to themselves. They haven't been sharing. It's going to come out now. I feel like you've got two separate situations this king of swords wants long term with you that could be your past person uh air sign sun moon rising or venus yeah they want to overcome these obstacles whatever things that are hidden they want to bring it out into the light and talk to you about this stuff and see if you guys can't figure stuff out um this past person let's see what their their hidden truth is their feelings like what's going on with them Hmm. Yeah, they're in withdrawal. Just being near you is intoxicating, but they're not near you. So they're feeling like that, you know, that withdrawal. They're getting the heebie-jeebies. They can feel you leaving them behind. It's killing them, Virgo. There's something about the fact. Yeah, they want to get that. They See, you make them high. Like, they get that dopamine hit with you. 
That's why they're coming back because they're just in withdrawal. They can't be without you. They want to feel good again. They went and got lost. They really they feel lost. They had to let you go and they don't like it, Virgo. It's past person. You came closer than anyone. They have regret. See, they didn't treat you well. They didn't treat you well. Now they're regretting it. Now they're now they're feeling it. Oh yeah, this past person. Looks like an air sign. It could be any side. And they're feeling it. Oh, they're feeling it. Yeah, everywhere they go, things remind them of you. It's like, yeah, they can't see. They can't stop thinking about you. That's what I was going to say. Okay, so Virgo, it's like, <laughs> let's take a look and see what the energy is with this, this new situation. I don't know that the new thing is anything serious. I'm not picking up, like, really serious energy with a new person it just looks like might be maybe a beautiful distraction or just a, an opportunity to go out and go on some dates and just kind of get to know somebody else let's take a look at that energy okay wow your past person keeps showing up geez we have a lot of regret yeah you might be like no i don't want to go back we're not on the same page because you're not a drug. They, they might view you. Yeah. So a lot of passion for you. But I was asking about the new person. You got to keep some boundaries up. Some of you might just not be ready to get into anything serious. <clears throat> you got some unhealed wounds that you're trying to work on. So if you want to just go out on a date with somebody or have some fun. <clears throat> if someone offers to take you out this weekend. Future plans for your birthday. Um, whether your birthday is in August or September. You know, um. You might not want to commit to anything. Just go have a good time. That's why the short term, quick kind of fling thing, limited time. I feel like maybe you could. It's a possibility that that relationship could move towards something uh, really, something more committed. If that's what you're looking for in the future. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see what other messages. Let's take a look at your... Just a quick look at your your money situation here. I know Virgos. Virgos always want to know about the money. What's going on with the money, Virgos? Okay. You have timing. It's all in the timing right now. Pull another card to see if you need to do it now. Wait a while or make a different decision. Okay. I want another card. All right. Oh. You have ending. You may leave a position or be terminated. However, there's always a new opportunity ahead. And you may change careers entirely. So looks like you need to end something. Okay. You need to be done with something. Something that you're currently in. Um, or maybe. All right. So as far as a job, you might decide to quit or you might get fired. You might get terminated or laid off, whatever. That's fine. Plenty of fish in the sea. Same goes for a relationship. Maybe there was a breakup. You ended something. Somebody else ended something. You have other opportunities showing up here. Okay. You might not be sure. Like, what should you do? What should you do? Right? If you're if you're in that position where you're questioning um, at this time, it looks like the answer here is just move on. Okay. Move on to something that where you and another person will be on the same page. Um, and even with your job, to be on the same page. Okay, yeah. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Yep. What do you want? You want a soulmate. Look at this. Beautiful. Okay, you do have a soulmate situation coming in. You do. You do have a soulmate scenario. This is nice. This might be something, you know, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater I'm hearing. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Some of you need to do that. Maybe you keep telling yourself, well, I don't want to give up entirely, but let me just wait and see what else is out there. Now, some of you may need to make a clean break. I think that's what that message is. I think I'm hearing you say that. Yeah, there you go. Clean break. Lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation, like a bolt of lightning. Just shut something down. That's up to you. That's up to you. Whatever you want to do. I'm not telling you what to do. If you think you, that something can, like some obstacles can be fixed or healed in a relationship, you feel like something can be overcome, then, you know, by all means, do what you need to do. But if you're that Virgo that's like, no, it's run its course, it's time to move on, um, then do that if you need to do that. All right, let me see. What message? Rebel deck. Rebel deck messages. You know, these raunchy 
messages here, but <laughs> okay. First message, stop talking. Shut your mouth and listen. <laughs> yeah, Virgo, be quiet. Listen to what I'm trying to tell you. All right, you got a direct, honest female who's going to be talking to you over this weekend. And your message here is um, listen to what she has to tell you. Uh, some good shit is about to happen. She's saying, don't let your issues F it up. Oh, oh, you got a friend, a platonic. She's going to be talking to you this weekend. And she's going to say to you, totally, 100%, shh. She's going to say, Virgo, stop. Listen to me. Keep yourself open. There's some. If there's a date or someone asks you out over this weekend, she's going to say, Go on the date. Don't let your don't let any of your past issues or anything from the past. Just go and see. She's gonna give you. She's trying to push you forward. Whatever you're thinking about, don't do it. Now is not the effing time. Okay, and that is in regards to. I feel for some of you, not all of you, but I feel for some of you to take some a past person up on an offer. People are in the past for a reason. Okay, leave them where they are. Right. A lot of people just want to show back up in your life because they're bored or because whoever this person is like we were seeing is kind of like needing that hit because they're in withdrawal. But that's not a reason to go back to somebody. It's like you need to go to an AA meeting or some kind of withdrawal meeting or something to deal with your issues. <laughs> right? Because that's, that's like toxic. That's like addiction. That's like toxic energy holding on and going back to people because you miss them. That's like maybe even being trauma bonded, you and another person. I'm just saying, I don't know if that's your situation. Let's see what other messages there are here. Okay. So you have, oh, the page of cups, sensitive, open-hearted, inexperienced, moody messages regarding relationships, new emotional experiences, a romantic encounter, Social invitations or events this weekend and heightened psychic abilities. Yes, like I said, social, there's a social something happening over this weekend. You get invited to. There's your Queen of Swords showing up. Brilliant, experienced, humorous, judgmental, releasing situations or people that no longer serve you. Seeing the humor in difficult situations. Focusing on career, divorced. You may be divorced or unmarried. Mind your P's and Q's, Virgo. Mind your P's and Q's. All right, there you go. Three of Swords. Great sadness that will heal with time. Let go of the past. Personal growth that comes from challenges. Healing, misunderstandings, being there for those in need. All right. Well, that speaks for itself. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I can say. Oh, we got Cancer over there. Pisces, Leo, Taurus. All right. Somebody's birthday's in December. August, no, not August, sorry, uh, September 5th, someone's 51, someone's 53, uh, KK, we have two Ks, initials, I have an H, you have an A, two A's, A's are always showing up, uh, someone's birthday's in October, we have a Sag, we have a Libra, um, we have the initial P, we have O, we have E, someone's a poet, we have Z, Zoe, Uh, letter B, letter A, uh, okay, someone likes Maz, Mazzy, okay, or that's the name, Mazzy, 1981, someone's 49, we have 59, 33, 31, 52, August 23rd, uh, September 19th, we have the letter S, your sibling is going to be reaching out to you this weekend. We have uh, August 30th, we have 61, 67, 74, September 10th, 41, September 13th, September 5th, 88. Okay, I'm hearing Brian. Someone calls someone Bay. Bay, my Bay, my Boo, my Bay. Okay, AKA. Someone that has like a, I don't know, maybe like a DJ or something, a.k.a. Did I say September 10th? I don't remember, but I'm seeing that. Someone works at M -M -A -B Paints or works in a paint store. It's a paint store. Someone's got an easy pass. 
Someone's got an easy pass. Okay. Uh, someone's in, a, in like a, a diner. And it's like a 19 retro 50s kind of diner. Like a burger, fries, and a shake. <laughs> you want a burger and fries with that shake, babe? <laughs> I'm stupid. Okay. I just heard someone say stop. Stop. So I don't know if you're driving, you got you need to stop, you hit a stop sign, not literally hit it, but you know, like you need to stop or somebody, somebody here listening, like I'm here just stop, stop, <laughs> that's what I'm here, stop, stop talking to somebody, somebody need to just like stop talking to them, somebody's like, what do I do, what do I do, stop talking, just stop talking. You're in class. Stop talking. If you have any kids, maybe you'll hear that from like a teacher or something. Like you're talking too much. Can you please stop talking? While I'm talking, I'm talking. Not It's not your turn. That's what I'm here. Stop talking. All right, let's get a couple of charms. Yes, quickie reading. You know, it's a weekend. I'm ready to get going. I'm ready to get on out of here. And speaking of getting on out of here, hold on a minute. Yeah, I'm going to use this. You do have an aeroplane. So somebody's going on a flight. Someone's flying somewhere. Are you getting tickets? There's a connection to an airplane this weekend. Someone's flying in or flying out. Yep. Okay, we also have butterflies. There's definitely a connection to butterflies. There's big time wings. Connection to wings this weekend. Okay. Look at these butterflies. Beautiful. Look at all the wings. There's a tremendous amount of flight. You might be at an airport. There's a lot of airplanes. Look at this. You can have a bat. Look at all the wings. Okay. Somebody might be flying around Halloween. You might see a bat. Bat in the belfry. You might see bats somewhere where you live. A lot of flying things going on. I don't know what the heck's... Yeah, I'm just... All of these wings are giving me like airport vibes. I'm feeling like somebody's at an airport. You're going to hear about that, or you're going to be going, or you might be listening while you're at the airport. There's some connection to flying things. <laughs> okay. No, that's just signs. Now, you also have an elephant. Okay. There's something going on in Africa. Out of Africa? Is that a movie? You might be watching that movie. Wasn't that a movie, Out of Africa? Maybe you're going to see that. Um, good luck if you put an elephant um, facing your front door. Put an elephant facing your front door that brings good luck into your home so maybe you know that maybe you don't big connection to elephants though you also have um this is some kind of cat hold on let me look at this oh a paisley cat okay it's not just any old cat this is a paisley cat somebody has a connection to like it could be a stuffed stuffed paisley cat Obviously, Paisley cats aren't real things, but it's, it's, it's like a design, you know, like Paisley design or print. It's a, or maybe some kind of outfit or something that a cat wears. <laughs> I guess somebody dresses their cat up in clothing. Some kind of Paisley kitty. Um, and then you also have, okay, you have a crescent moon. So that's like a half moon. So actually, um, the half moon does represent a few things, actually. Um, it's a sign of fertility, the half moon. It's related to life and death. Okay, so there's definitely changes. It's also related to the feminine menstrual cycle. Okay, also, but it's, it's also related to, finally, to intuitiveness, psychic abilities, and empowerment. So um, there's something here about this crescent moon that's really, really important for you to pay attention. The things that have been wished for, for you by other people, uh, will be coming true as well. Uh, people that are praying for you or hoping for you. But it's also about illumination, insight, and guidance. So maybe you just wear um, like a half moon, crescent moon charm or something on you, on your person somewhere. Uh, very significant if you see it anywhere or if you, because we're not going to have like a half moon until um, August 26th, we're already going to be in Virgo season. August 19th is the full moon, so that's on Monday. 
Um, but I feel like if you see a crescent moon or a half moon, um, this is to remind you that there's pe people who care very much for you are praying for you, but it's also that um, you're going through a period of, of new beginnings, growth, and transformation. And if you don't have a crescent moon anywhere to wear, I feel like you, I'm being told to tell you to find one over the weekend and wear it to remind you of the changes that you're going through and to keep going. I feel like that's the strongest message there. All right, Virgo. So I'm going to leave that there. I know it's kind of short and sweet, but it's the weekend. Hey, you know, it's time to get going and go enjoy. So, um, or just go and relax, whatever. If you go on some kind of trip or a date, I hope you have a wonderful time. If you get presented, like for some of you, obviously message is going to resonate for everybody. But you get presented a past person showing up and you got a new person. You know, um, sometimes you might just, you might find yourself in a bit of confusion over the weekend. Might be like a lot. Um, you might be wanting to compromise. Um, but if you don't sure what to do and you feel a sense of confusion or indecision, then, you know, just wait on things. Okay. But you do have someone showing up here over the weekend as like a friend who's going to give you, it feels like kind of a pep talk, like this female friend wants you to, I don't know, she's giving you some kind of a pep talk, it's like an air sign, or someone that sits, like it's either a Gemini, it could be another Virgo, could be, you could be doing it for yourself as well, all right Virgo, so I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend, I will see you all back here on Sunday, bye. I'm